Hi, and welcome to this tutorial for Live Powerline. Today we're going to be focusing on the use of the classify and detect parameter settings. So you want to go ahead and launch Live Powerline software as the administrator and load the sample data into the project. The Powerline parameter setting interface will pop up. The working directory is used for the storage of intermediate and final results. So the input point cloud spatial reference is the coordinate system of the processed point cloud. For the classify and detect parameter settings, please select the sample.xml file in the software installation folder. And for detected line voltage level, select 220 kilovolts. So click classify and detect parameters tab and notice that the parameters have been populated using the values set in the sample.xml conf configuration file. Uh, ground clearance is not within consideration in this project, therefore select the first row and click delete selected rows. And then you can change detection distance for class 3 low vegetation, class 4 medium vegetation, 5 for high vegetation, to 12 meters. Uh, meaning that the vegetation within 12 meters of the power line violates the clearance distance. So please check out our YouTube page for more tutorials and training materials for Live Powerline and our other software offerings. Thank you very much.